With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. first down Perry and the Dolphins rush gets home down he goes multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game okay partner a couple points of interest right here all right offensively we see that they came out throwing the football but maybe more importantly the blitz that came defensively they got right after them. and you were telling me pre-game before we came on air you think this is something we could see a lot yeah there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms looking to throw on second down perry under pressure and they got to him again aaron donald with a sack but i don't think this is the script they had in mind for their opening drive this is third and long Operating from the gun, Perry. Oh, his first throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Steeler legend Troy Palomalu with a pick. And it's a huge return as he brings this all the way back down to the 15-yard line. The Dolphins take over first and 10. At the line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now a handoff, here's Williams. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Kyron Williams, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Well, that's how you take advantage of an early turnover. A sudden change situation, meaning ball's turned over. How's both sides going to handle it? One side handled it way better. They went right out on the field and put the ball in the end zone. One play, that just added insult to injury. Yeah, that just tells you on the defensive side, they didn't come out ready to go. Still reeling from the fact that the ball got turned over. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Looking to throw. Perry got a man. It's Patterson complete. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned... Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. And they put it on the ground here on the second drive. And, of course, Charles, that follows drive number one where they had the INT. Makes you wonder what's going on with this team because a lot of times we can attribute it to nerves. But maybe it's a lack of focus. Maybe it's, it's the preparation for the game. Maybe they just came into a little lackadaisical because that's just not looking good at all. That's just not the football that we came here to see. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. That's good for a Miami Dolphin. First down at the 23 yard line. Exactly. 
Now Marino. Oh, his first throw of the game. Going to be intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Back to throw. Perry. That's going to be caught by Moss and brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger gain. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. So offsides the call, and they understandably decline it. And this is why we're seeing more and more teams hiring that one coach to the staff that's in charge of all these things. This one's minor. It's pr pretty easy to figure out. But all the game management stuff, Deshaun Jackson off to the races. Touchdown, Cowboys. Deshaun Jackson, 38 yards. And the Cowboys have cut the lead back down to two. And the pass looked harmless. I didn't really think much was going to happen after that. But he goes ahead and takes it all the way for a touchdown. I guess what we learn is that long plays don't always come from long passes, right? Throw it short. You get the right receiver who can make some moves. Off he goes. They'll look to throw. And this is caught. So they get the two points, and now we're even at 8-8. Eight, eight. Well, it's definitely early enough here. They didn't need to go over two. They didn't have to go over two, but they, they did. We're all tied at eight. Is this one of those anything you can do, I can match? Because that's exactly what we got on that one. Neither one of these teams wants to give any ground, do they? So 8-8, eight, eight, our score now, as he'll send this one away. Yeah, some might have returned that one. He won't. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start the drive from the 25. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 49 yards rushing for him now, and he's only carried the ball four times. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Marino sets up. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second down at a yard. Here's the fullback now. It's Keith Smith. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. 
They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. That is not going to be any help as they dump him behind the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing on second and third down after that nine-yard gain on first. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They'll try and throw four with Marino. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Again, it's Williams. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice game. Williams. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Marino on play action. Catch is made here by Irv Smith, Jr., and he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, a 22. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Williams will try again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of four. Now third down. On goal-to-goal -goal runs, when you create lost yardage plays, the only way that happens is either called pressure or what I like to call straight-ahead pursuit. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Earn Smith, Jr., a 14-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. They snap the ball at one. Now Marino, and unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time they failed there. Interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. A 
About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you just watch your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. To throw on second down, Perry able to find Higgins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Throwing on first down. Perry looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jackson. The Cowboys are going to use their second timeout now as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Looking to throw on second down. Perry. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Operating from the gun. Open man there is Darnell Washington. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. On first and ten, Perry. Open man is Higgins. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Ten more there and another first down. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Perry. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Here's second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say, we'll see what happens. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This from 54 yards away. Tucker's kick is good, and that will do it for this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Now, both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. 
First down, Marino. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Now inside the 25. And he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. So this whole game gets flipped on its ear right there. The interception return for a touchdown, and this lead changes hands here in the third quarter. And it certainly felt like this defense had a read on what was going on on the offensive side of the ball and said, let's cut down our coverage a Justin little bit. Parker, let's be in a position to make a play on the ball. And boy, that sure turned out well for them. Tucker with the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. And sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, oh, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Aaron Donald's secret, if there is one, to his play, his ability to contort his body in such a way that you can't get a good, clean block on it. He slides through holes and slides past blockers and makes plays just as we saw there. They go play action with Marino. Aaron it out, looking for Ridley. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Calvin Ridley, 82 yards. And the Dolphins have retaken a third quarter lead. And another touchdown pass for Dan Marino. Always had the big arm, always had great touch as well, but I was going to go back, partner. 1984, I watched a phenomenon. Second year in the league for Dan Marino. How about these numbers? 5,084 yards passing, 48 touchdowns, 64% completions, and a 109 quarterback rating. All were career highs set in his second year, and the Dolphins went to the Super Bowl where they played the 49ers. Now Marino to throw it. And this is going to be intercepted. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back, get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. The last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it and he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no question. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. The 
Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. And he's just across midfield and down at the 49-yard line. Williams and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line it's a loss of five there bringing up second they'll stay on the ground with Williams and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage they lose two on that last play so things get even tougher third and long coming up Marino off a of play action that to the right sideline and it falls incomplete Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. First and ten, it's Patterson. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. If you're in the offensive huddle, you're smiling after that play because you certainly got them guessing now. Second and short, could they just hand it off for another big gain, or did they take advantage of this spot to take a big shot downfield? And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Just a yard in the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's been a good one so far. Just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. They'll come up now third and three. Looking to throw. Perry. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. I think everyone in the stadium saw that big hit coming. And I, as a former defensive back, have to admit I'm a little disappointed. He actually was able to hold on to the ball. He brought the lumber on that play. Give my man a whole lot of credit for taking the hit and possessing the football. And picking up the first down. The tackle by Troy Palamalu. Second and seven. Back to throw. Perry. He'll hit Jackson complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Looking to throw. Perry. This pass complete to Higgins. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Now that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a fresh ball. And let's go. He's got his offense moving again. 
And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. It's a gain of 16 in the Dallas first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. Throwing on first down. Perry. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. William the Refrigerator Perry picks up his second sack of the afternoon. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Tucker's kick is good. Less than two minutes to play. Down to the wire we go in a one-point game. Justin Tucker set to kick off. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. They'll come up first and 10 here. Here's Marino. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Brings up second and 10 at the 22 yard line. Marino to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. What a call right there. That is so well executed offensively. A massive play in this game. And now all of a sudden, they are in field goal range. And with a chance to walk out of here, winners. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. On the ground, this is Williams. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Williams going to get it again on second down. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. And now all of a sudden, the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit? Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Now a man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Williams. And a really good show of force there as he gets through for four tough yards. We can't be totally sure that that was by design, but we do know that a lot of kickers like the ball in the right hash in order to kick the field goal. On second down, Williams. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Now the timeout will be called, so they're in field goal range with three seconds left. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. 
And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. With three seconds to go, this for the win. And his kick is indeed good. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. What a ball game this was. What an atmosphere this was. And the home team getting the late touchdown, getting the victory. And now everybody in this building can file away with smiles on their faces. And what do real estate people tell us all the time? It's location, location, location. So being at home, that can be a big deal because remember, they were down to their final chance to retake the lead. That home field advantage, I think it helped fuel all of what happened for them down the stretch. A huge win. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Miami, so long, everybody. Not headed to the airport for this one. One more day here will suit me just fine.